I have a degree in biblical study. When Christ came, uh -huh. he came under grace. These are women uh -huh. pants. We're not under the law, guys. We're under Christ. I'm going to show Christ. you something. Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay, he wrote of you. Well, the Holy Spirit is what dwells inside of us. That's the, that's the power. It's not like I have never heard that before. Okay. Hey, hey, sis, sis, you, you talk too much. I'm under Go the ahead, leadership of Ruffalo Dollar. Oh! That's how you know that thing. What's the question? Yeah. If you're a woman that's trying to do the right thing, but you believe that your your man is your king and you're supposed to submit to him, how are you supposed to follow the laws of God if you believe that your king is supposed to help you submit to what the word of God says? So he's not carrying himself in the way that he should right. to lead properly lead you. Right. The answer is in the Bible. Let's get that first Corinthians chapter seven. All right. Give me a. Uh, Verse 14. First Corinthians chapter 7. Verse 14. For the unbelieving husband. For the unbelieving husband. You got a husband that believes, don't believe, and you believe, and you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. For the unbelieving husband, what? Is sanctified. He is cleansed by the way. By the, by the what? By the way. By your example. But first you have to get yourself right. You have to come out of the pants. You gotta cook the things that are lawful in the house. That's I'm a real vegetarian. Man, we don't care what we eat, long as we eat. You know what I'm saying? a vegetarian. You get the pork out of the house. That's you know gone. That? I don't eat that. All crazy. So he'll be able to understand by you. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. But the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. Right. But you have to get yourself right. So you can eat by yourself. You understand that? Okay. I have to cover up though, don't I? Yeah, you have to cover up. When things in box, you can agree with it. Bring it out. The, the Bible, the God, God of this Bible told our women to dress a certain type of way. Right. Right? Let's get it out of the Bible. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also. In like manner also. That the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. The women in ancient time, they adorn themselves in modest apparel. They covered up. What was un, uh, what was revealing, you showed that to your husband at home. It ain't supposed to be out here on the street. That's right. You showed that to your husband at home. You're supposed to cover up. And when you understand the Bible, when the sister praying or prophesying, she's also supposed to have her head covered. That's in 1 Corinthians 11 chapter, you understand? Right. Read on. Modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. Shamefacedness and sobriety, meaning the woman's not supposed to act out of character. Getting up in the old, um, man's face, arguing with him. That's out of order, according to the Bible. Our sisters have to learn that. And it's a big, and I'm glad you asked the question, because not only <laughs> you're supposed to show that example to your husband, you're supposed to show that example to these younger sisters. Right. In the book of Titus, chapter two, it tells you that real quick. Let's get that real quick. Now, the, the sisters have a major role. The men, we're playing our part. We're supposed to come out here and get these men all right. Get these men, these brothers together so they can get their minds right. But the sisters, you got an important role because you got to teach the children. The children, they start a generation. Come closer, brother. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Read that. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. The women are supposed to be in behavior as becoming holiness. Brother, you want to hear the message, right? I'm listening, I'm listening. You, you listening? Look at your All right, I got a question for you since you've been, how, you, how long you been standing there? I just walked up, right? All right, I got a question for you, brother. Read this for the sister, read on. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Not giving too much wine. So the sister ain't supposed to be drunk, read on. Teachers of good things. We supposed to also teach these younger sisters good things. All right. How to love their husbands, be chased, keep us at home. How to love their children. Women ain't supposed to be walking and roaming the streets. They supposed to be at home taking care of the things of home. That's the right. children. Making sure the house is properly kept. That's the woman's role in this Bible. You understand that? Sister? You got a job to do. You understand? You got any questions for me? I'm gonna stay with that right now because I'm like like my my significant other is in jail, so I'm just out here by myself. But it's just hard to it's just hard. I got a scripture I want to share with you, uh, sister. I want to read the scripture. I'm going to come back to you. Um, now I'm going to find this verse real quick. I want to I want to share this uh, scripture with you, uh, sister. Now the thing is, sister, you have a church right here in Atlanta. This is where you. This is where you build up your spirit. We do a lot of our 
Broncos is all locked up in the system because of bad choices. But guess what? When he come out, you can be the example, sister. You ain't got to do this by yourself. Second testimony, let me show you something. You ain't got to do this by yourself. You ain't the only one that's oppressed, sister. We're going through hard times. Right. Bring it up. Bible. This is what God told us. Read that real quick. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 7. And to you who are troubled. And for you that are troubled, sisters, I can see you are troubled. And for you that are troubled, what did God say? Rest with us. What did he say, do? Rest with us. That's sister, right. you got a church right here in Atlanta. We That's here. Right. That's right. You got brothers and sisters that will support you. That's if right. you want to support yourself, if you want to get right, That's sisters, right. we're here for you. Yeah. But you got to repent to come back to your nationality. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, my brother right here say you just walk by. Yeah, I'm still listening. I'm, I'm hearing everything you're saying, bro. All right, let me ask you a question. How Absolutely. many times you don't walk by here and you heard this guy come out? Once. I just, I just got off the train and just walked through now. All right, you ever heard that you wore initial light? Nope. I'm gonna show you that in the Bible. That fly that you got in your hand. Why did we go into slavery? Why did we, why did we title the fly as the truth about slavery? Let me ask you that. I have no idea. Why do you, what, what do you know about slavery? Let me ask you that. They, they, they slayed our people for years and years. We still in slavery now. We still in slavery Yeah, now. I'm working every day. I, I, I'm working every day. They slay me every day. I'm a job, everything. Okay. I ain't getting no money. I'm just working just to be out here. Okay, let me show you something real quick. I'm going to show you your nationality according to the Bible. And I'm going to tell you the one of the key factors, or one of the key reasons why we hate each other and we can't stand with I, I, one I another and we want. One. Not just you specifically, right? Maybe not you. Right. But the reason why people... I just like people, but I don't hate no one. Let me ask you a question. Were you in a fight recently? No, I was in a car accident. In a car accident? Yeah. Do you know why a car accident happened? I wasn't paying attention. You wasn't paying attention. To the cell phone. Do you know everything happens for a reason? Absolutely. There's a reason why I'm asking you that. Why did it happen? Why did it happen? Why did it happen? Because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, what, why did it happen? What did, why, how did God feel about it? Uh, I guess he was trying to make me pay attention to what's going on outside. And what else? Do you think there's something going wrong in your life that God is trying to show you those examples of whether you're doing something wrong? Absolutely. Mm. Okay, let me show you. What, mm. First off, let's start with this your nationality. Wow. And I'm going to give you a couple laws, right? Give me this real quick. Deuteronomy 28, I'm going to start at verse 15. I'm get to the point for you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. No. Nope. Oh. But it shall come to pass. The reason why God afflict us because he wants to us to acknowledge him. We don't. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. You listening, brother? We don't. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. That all what? All these curses. Curses are a good thing or a bad thing. I'm studying. So what again? Curses are a good thing or a bad thing? A curse is a bad thing. It's a bad thing, right? Yeah. Absolutely. This was going to happen to the nation of Israel if they, they didn't listen to the, the law, statutes, and commandments. I'm going to show you something else. Uh, now give me verse 45. Keep it. The subject matter is the curses. You with me? Listen. Read 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee Read. till thou be destroyed. Meaning destroyed for mentally, not physically, because you're still here. You're still the nation of Israel, you just don't know it. But, but, but it, it takes a lot to destroy a person mentally. You got to be strong. Brother, we I'm already a strong brother. You feel me? Say it I'm again. Say it again. Give you an example. We already say it again. The example I give you, what's your nationality? I'm an African American. African American. Let's Absolutely. deal with that. Sis, what's your nationality? I'm Asiatic. What's your nationality? I'm African American. Let me ask you a question, brother. I'm one of them tribes. What's your nationality? Where am I nationality? Huh? Black. Black. Oh, I'm gone. Okay, kind of you dope. see the example, right? Do you see the example? I'm an African American. Let me tell you something, brother. Come here real quick. Let me show you what just happened. Let me tell you what just happened. I'm an African American. Let me tell you what just happened. The brother, the bro we read this scripture, right? Watch this. Come back, come back, come back, come back. I'm going to show you just what just happened just now. No, 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 I no, that's a, that, that's a color. Said, you got red, up, white, blue, up, all up. them colors. Brother, I'm you ain't black. writing what you said either. He said he's I'm black. I'm not black. Right. I'm African American. No. Read him. Hold on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Watch this. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon uh -huh. thee. All right. Brother, right here in the black shirt. 
My brother right here. Hello. I want to share this with you. You cannot leave until you hit this. Just give me a second, brother. I know, but give it a second. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get straight to the point for you. Brother, you just said something, and he said something different. I want to show you where it came from. I don't think you understand what just happened. Y'all the same people, right? Y'all the same people, right? Hey, and my brother. Why did you just come up with two different answers? I don't know why he came up with that one, but I know why. I'm African American. He say he's African American, you say you black. I'm African. I'm not African American. You said you were black when you walked in the store. You said black. You said you were black. I'm African American. I'm showing you why. Okay. I ain't black. Let's get to the point. Let's read it again. Hold up. Hold up. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Uh-huh. Moreover, uh -huh. all these curses shall all these curses shall come upon thee, read on. And shall pursue thee read. and overtake thee read. till thou be destroyed. Be destroyed. How? Right. Mentally, you say we weren't destroyed mentally. We are destroyed wow. mentally by the prime example. How did you get again? How did you get a different nationality than what he just gave? We all the same. We all because that's how he was brought up, brother. That's how they taught him in school. If I go over here and I ask these brothers what's their nationality, we gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Well, right. you, black, you black? I'm showing you the state of confusion that we're in. No, I'm not. Right. My so boots are black. My pants are black. Your shirt is black. Right. You need to look like that. Your shirt. Uh -huh. Your shirt color and your skin color are two different colors. Right. I totally agree. African American is a na yeah. another man's nationality. Where did Africa come from? Where did it come from? Where did it turn Africa? Where you know? Hey, now I'm lost. I know yeah. Know. yeah. I know. They told you that's what that state was called. That's not what it's called for real, though. from an Italian. It's a All right. State. All right. Leo Skifkis Africanus. That's right. All right. That's where Africa came from. Say yeah. Leo Skifkis Africanus. You understand that? All right. America came from where? America Vespucci. Right now. All right. Two different people. Do you know either one of them? Absolutely not. Why do you have that title upon you? That's right. All right. All right. Hey, hold on. I feel like y'all telling me that. Tell me about a great point. We was on. Yeah, bring that up. Bring that up. Hey, we've only been African American since 1986 with Jesse Jackson. That's right. Okay, okay. I was so born in. Exactly. So your, your, your nationality that you're claiming is only about 25 years. But well, that's what they taught me. So that's what they taught that, me. In the book of Jeremiah. Uh, let me show you. Bring it up. Jeremiah chapter 2. Jeremiah chapter 2. And I want to read uh, verse 14. That's what they taught you. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 14 Is Israel a servant? Is Israel a servant? Read on Is he a homeborn slave? Is he a homeborn slave? Why do we keep the titles that they gave us? If it's another man's title, why do we keep it? That's not, we call, that's not what we call ourselves Before you were called African American, you was called Negro Absolutely You was called color before that No, you were called Negro Tell it like it is. Other than that, we was called anything but the nation of Israel. Yeah. Right. You were never called an Israelite. That's how we were destroyed mentally. But let's go back to Deuteronomy. God is asking, are we a homeborn slave? You're not a homeborn slave. So when I ask you your nationality, brother, after we go through this, at the end of the day, you're supposed to be saying, I'm a, ch I'm a children of Israel. That's, That's where I'm right. from. You understand that? Bro, I know, I know, man. I know. Oh, crazy. So what you doing with that in your hand? Uh, What's that cigarette is about? Hey, man, I'm trying to quit him, man. Huh? I mean, I'm trying to quit. I'm trying, trying to, quit. to quit? Yes, sir. Brother, I used to do the same thing. I quit. Because you know what? I heard it in the Bible. Uh, That's right. I'm going to show you in the Bible. Real quick. Brother, brother right here, I'm behind you. Can I share the same thing with you? Because you're in the same predicament. Give me that first Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. I'm coming back to you. No! Coming back to you. Why you picking on me, man? I ain't picking on you. They say the same thing you say. They say African American, you say. When you say African American, they say black. Hold up, brother. Come on, hold up, brother. I want to share something with you. First Corinthians 3, 16. Hold up, watch this up. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Read. Know ye not? That ye are the temple of God. Know ye not that you are the temple of God? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Read. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple of God. Read on. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God to destroy. That's plain and simple. Do I have to interpret that? Nah. Yeah. Brother, it's time to put the cigarette down. Give me that in the book of Matthews. Uh, Matthews about the disciples. 
Yeah. It's time to put the cigarette down. Oh, really? So what you doing with it? Smoke it. You still pull it. Give me that divided the disciples. I want to show you something real quick. The examples that we read in the Bible. Read verse 17. Verse 17. For at that time, uh -huh. Jesus began uh -huh. to preach uh -huh. and to say, Repent. Repent, meaning change. Return from sin. Repent. All right. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven they ain't talking about them clouds up there, brother. All right. Talking about rulership in, upon earth. That's right right now, these nations are in their kingdom. You in their hell. That's God that's is right. reversing this and putting yeah. you in your kingdom and they in your hell. Yeah. You understand that? Or their condition of hell. Captivity. Like we were in captivity. You understand that's that? Right. Read on, read on. Verse 18. And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee. Hold on, brother. Put brother right here with a black shirt. I don't want you to miss what we're saying. What's your name, brother? I can't hear you since you already know if y'all were Christian. Born again? We are born again. Okay, so uh, that means are you a Christian or are you just a Christ? -like? The word Christian means to follow Christ. If that's okay. what it means, okay. we follow that's Christ, we, we are Christians. Our nationality right. is an Israelite. We are Israelite. Right. Right. You, you are a Christian, correct? I am. Can I ask you a question after I'm done with these brothers? Hold up, brother. Hold up, brother. <laughs> I'm not done with that. Y'all are still pulling. I want to show you an example. Just listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen, to watch this example that we read in the Bible. Read that again. Verse 18. Uh -huh. And Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee. Watch this. Saw two brethren. He saw two brethren. Simon. Uh-huh. Called Peter. Uh-huh. And Andrew. Uh-huh. His brother. Casting a net into the sea. Uh huh. For there were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers. God, of men. Christ told these men to follow me, and I'm gonna make you fishers of men. Listen to their actions behind what they heard. Read on. And they straightway left. And they what? Hold on, brothers, y'all missing the point? Y'all getting distracted. Listen to the point. What did he say? And they straightway. And they straightway did what? Left. Their nest. They straightway left their nest because they saw a bigger picture. They understood what Christ was trying to give them. Well, you got to understand what Christ is trying to show you now. Put down the cigarette, brother. Are you a slave to the system? Well, they gave you the cigarettes. You can't fight against the spirit? I mean, your flesh? That's the flesh, brother. Fight against the flesh. God's he's calling you. He's trying to call you into the spirit. That right there ain't leading you that way, brother. We know why you spoke because we are in the same condition. We are pressed. But he ain't give us that for comfort. I ain't the first person. You ain't the first person I told this to. Because we are all going through it. And it's the mess that has to be repeated. Because we are suffering the same way. But this is the solution right here. That's Romans 15, 4 said, rest in the scripture. This is all our right. comfort. Brother, put it in the train. Stop pulling on it. I care that much for you. You understand that? Oh, praises to the most I get rid of the pack. I ain't got no pack. You ain't got pack. All right. All right. You can tell him to quit, and that's good, because that's not what. Come on, I, I was, come on, sister. I was okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, sister. The way I'm looking, because I'm, I'm. Hey, looking. brothers, y'all got flights? Uh, okay. All right. All right, brothers. Y'all are Israelites according to the Bible. Hey, location is on the back of the flight. Hey, my sister right here. My sister right here. Hey, sis, you say you're a Christian. I want to ask you something real quick. Right? How long you have known about God? How long you been going to church? All my life, basically. All your life, right? I want to show you something real quick. Give me the book of... Uh, what I want. I have a degree in biblical studies. All right, but I that's excellent. You. That's excellent. I want to get um. Saint John chapter eight verse forty-seven. I want to show you something. We know. We know. And then after that, give me Deuteronomy twenty-two verse five. John. Right. Chapter eight, verse forty-seven. He that is of God, heareth God's word. You agree? You agree with that? He that is of God, you're going to hear God's word, right? All right. It ain't going to be contentious to you. That's right. You're going to listen to it, you're going to take heed, because why you believe, right? I'm going to show you a commandment real quick. Give me that Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Bring it out. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is it talking about? You'll yeah, never see me with a skirt on. Well, so you know that. And you ain't supposed hey, to be in one. I, all that. What about pants? Is that what you just You got it. You but got see, it. That, but here's That's, the thing. Come on. When Christ came, uh -huh. he came under grace. I heard you talk about my pastor before. 
for he, he, okay? Give me that Roman six. We are under grace now. We are under grace. And when Correct. that says pertaining to a man, they uh -huh. make women pants. These are not men pants. These are uh -huh. women pants. I have no condemnation because I'm under grace. Right, I'm right. under Christ. Let me ask and, you a question. Let me ask okay. you the, ask you the, I'm going to cut you and, off. And I'm now that... You know, there are certain things that's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, you know, our homosexuality. We have all these things going on. Now, it's not and my sexuality, homosexuality. But that, what I'm saying, we have things going on. We're going to say culture. That ain't never been we're accepted. Gonna, we're going to say that, they call okay, it culture. Okay, we, they call but, it culture. But we, are, as Christians, will we'll judge and condemn. And we're not supposed to at that point because everybody what? is under Christ, under grace. Okay. That does not give you the permission to go out uh -huh. and sin. But the more you grow in Christ, right. it's the more that you want to get away from things. What was the book of Judges about? But you're under, what? but no, here's no, the ask, thing. No, no, don't question. laugh because I'm I know, but this is what you need I'm to know. I know what the Old Testament, but we about? don't live, that's the law. Show me that we in the New Testament the law. God told us We are no longer under the law. We are no, I don't even know why we're here talking about it. We're not under the law, guys. We're under Christ. We're under grace. When Christ came, God was with us. That was the law. I'm going to ask you. You ready? Okay. Judge the man. 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 Judge the Verse 46. That's right. For ye, for had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. That's right. Christ said, if you believe in, if you believe in Moses, you would believe in me. Why? That's for he wrote of me. That's he right. He wrote of me. This is right. right. okay. the okay. okay. He wrote of you. Uh, he wrote of Christ. What do you think Christ okay. was following in his disciples during this time? They wasn't following the New Testament. Right. That's right. right. That's right. I'm, you want to say? Okay. But we no, they didn't follow the new Christmas until Christ died and rose again. Now, and then when he went to heaven, he said, I will send you another, which he sent back the Holy Spirit. Right. Okay? And what was so that Holy that, Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit is what dwells inside us. That's the that's the that's the power. We'll get that. The Bible says it's due to his power, uh -huh. which gives you power. And right. that is the power that help people get off cigarettes. That's the power that'll help people to grow. Uh -huh. But it's a process. Mm -hmm. We are not that law was written. Uh, God wrote that law, and Moses wrote the Ten Commandments, uh -huh. which we should follow anyway because okay. it's just morals. You done? It's morals. You done? I wanna, I wanna, now I want to give this to you this statement. Give me Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Bring it out. Yeah. Let's see what Christ the Messiah said. And what is grace? But let me ask you this question. But you got to understand too as Christ reigned the earth it wasn't until he died when he took all, right, all our sins. Right. I know what you said. That we were under the law. I heard what you said. We were still under the law when he sis, was walking the earth. What's your name sister? Sarah. Sister Sarah. I'm going to share something with you. What you're saying it's not like I have never heard that before. I heard this from many Christians. What you do not understand is that when Paul talks about the laws being done away with and we have grace, you have to understand what laws was he talking about. That's right. You say you read the Bible and you studied the Bible. What are the, the law? What what laws uh, does the Bible? Um, there were laws. There were laws in the Bible. What laws? Where the, you couldn't even go in the temple no, no, unless you no, did no, everything no, no, that's perfect, not my or you dropped in. That's not my question. Sister. Okay, and they had to pull you that's out. Not We're not under that. I'm gonna give it to you. There's laws where people sister, can't eat certain sister things. Sarah, sister Sarah. I mean, come sister on. Sister Sarah, check this out. We have a dietary law. We have a ceremonial law. Right. We have a sacrificial law. That's right. We have civil and we have moral laws. Correct. Right. 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 We have the law what? of gravity. What so, law? I mean, I understand sis, sis. the sense. What? No, okay. that's not the Bible. What law? No, but, okay, go ahead. Sister, he did his love God. Here's God's word. What law was Christ saying that he done away with? What law was Paul saying that was not in effect today? What law? Which one out of the five categories? Which one was he talking about? The sacrificial, the ceremonial, the moral, the, the ceremonial, or the dietary? Which law was Moses, I mean Christ was talking about? I believe that we'll You believe what scripture? Grace. No, 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 no. You grace is what? Give me that in Titus. Okay. Titus 2 and 11. Bring it out. Sis, bring it out. It's a lot you have to understand. You don't know. No, I understand. I'm going to be honest but with But I know that I don't live you don't under know the law. I what live What you got to do? You gotta, you I live under the New Testament. I'm going to go through all of that. I go by the Old I'm Testament. I'm going to go through all of that. The Old te Sisters, Testament. Sisters, what you got to do, you got to listen. You I have to listen. listen. I've been listening for 30, 40 years. And you've been talking for the whole 30. Hey, and you too. You've been hey, talking too. That's your question. They're with grace. What is the only one that's been talking? To me? You pay, you pay, you pay bills, right? Right. When you don't, when you, when you lie, bill come up. You don't have the money at that time to pay it. You, you call, they give you a grace period. Does that mean you don't pay it? No, that's right. right. You gotta be paid. 
So when their time comes for you to pay, you still pay, right? All right. That's the grace. Okay. Hey, hey, sis, sis, you, you talk too much. No, You're tired. Are you talking you talk you talk too much? Again? You talk too much. To live, sis, to live the word of God is coming out. Are you just just be quiet. What you telling them they you know what your problem is? Your problem is you talk too much. That's You're not listening. I probably do. The grace. But I'm trying to figure the, out where you guys are. Oh, my God. Sis. Are you, there are people that's the thing with the black woman. Born again. Just sis. You so see how this sister be quiet? Sis, just be quiet just like this sister right now. The word is coming out, be quiet. The word grace means you got a certain time to get yourself right. Yes. Is that mean you're not gonna get yourself right? It's the same thing, you gotta pay the bill. If you receive Guess Christ what? as your sis, slaver, sis, you sis. are right. No, you're not. Standing in right How the hell are you right? You in sin right now. What is sin? What is sin? And I'm standing sis, up here. Sin? You do not persecute what is sin? me. And I do what is not stand for I'm free in Christ. What is sin? I am free in Christ. What is sin? What is sin? You cannot condemn me. What is sin? I am not condemned. What is sin? What is sin? I'm tell you, are you getting people born again so they can get under Christ? Are you dictating the people's Say it again. I what said is sin is wearing pants knowing God told you to wear a dress. There is no great period. That is no great period. But, but yeah. that's not a great period. That is your own. And if you know we pitch on the law, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna die in America. Laws were with certain religions. Do what the Bible says. Certain laws that's like, that's under certain religion. Bible, and it just says, do not, not wear do pants. Makeup, that do we not wear pants. And, and you got on all that. And you got on all that. I'm here to tell she you, God, Christ listen. cares about what's here. Since you hum, you, you need to find enough. you a king hold up. Hey, and sister. get you sister. submitted to him. Sister. Because that sister. right there is wild. Sister. Hold up. Okay. What That's the wild. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18. But grow in grace. But grow in what? But grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. The grace is what now? Let's get by definition of the Bible. Not by her own interpretation of what she experienced in the church. The definition of the Bible. Get that, second Timothy. Uh, second, uh, Titus. Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. His grace, Sister Sarah, if you can listen, you just be quiet, Sister Sarah. Read this real quick. So, Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh -huh. For the grace of God. For the grace of God. Read. That bring your salvation. That bring your salvation. Has appeared to all men. Read on. Teaching us. Grace teach us what? That denying ungodliness. That do what? Denying ungodliness. What are you talking about when he say you can sin and still have grace? All right. That's grace right. is what you cannot be forgiven for the, under right. the old covenant. That's right. If you broke the Sabbath, you were put to death. That's, That's right. right. That's right. There was no forgiveness for that. Right. And Christ gave us the grace. Now, can we still break the Sabbath? No. God forbid. That's, That's right. right. That's what the sister don't understand. Like the deacon brought out. If you had a grace period, that still means you don't, it don't mean you have to pay the law. The bill, I mean the bill. I, I can go down and the, 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 the grace period is that you have time. That's what Christ gave us. Sunday or the Saturday? Saturday. 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 Matthew. Okay. Yeah, yeah 1916. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Really? And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. So this brother come to Christ. He's a good master. This is the question all of us got to ask. Read. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this brother come to us, he said, what must I do that I may gain the kingdom, eternal life? This, this brother come to us, that's what he asked Christ, the black messiah. Let me ask you, listen to what Christ answered this brother. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? I said to this man, why are you calling me good? Read. There is none good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. Read. But if thou... What? If you want the kingdom, this is what you must do. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Oh, no. hey, hey, that's that's right. That's right. That's right. Keep the commandments. Christ told this brother, you want you want the kingdom? Keep the commandment. I thought, right. I thought the commandment gonna work with. Right. Why Christ didn't say, Well, you on the grace. What is the kingdom? You on the grace. What is kingdom? What is kingdom? Yeah, what is the kingdom? I don't know. What is the yeah. kingdom of God? What no. is that? No, I'm, not, I'm listening to no, God. Tell me. What is the kingdom of God? I'm listening to God. God. Is it heaven? Or is it your no, What's the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is right here. It's going to take place right here. Okay. Okay. I, what I'm seeing here, 
Now, it's a lot of dictation and telling people what you gotta do and the, all these rules. I do not see the love in you telling people to come to Christ. What is Only love? thing I'm telling you. What is love? But you're, it, you know what? What is I understand love? When, Sis, when we all what die is love and we face the God, judgment is on the throne. I understand that. What is love? That. Get it for her. But Christ said, what is love? This is, this is love right here. Verse 3. What is For this is not I, the I love of God. God. This is the love of God. This is, sis, be quiet. This is the love of God. What is the love of God? That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Sis, you know what the love of God is? The love of God is you repent. The love of God is you repent. Come out of the spent and what do what the Bible says. That is the love of God. Then you're going to die in a month. You either repent or you're going to die. And go to hell? Uh, sis, guess what? Sis, we'll go to hell for that's, one day. that's the gospel that's of Christ. That's the love of God. I'm you either repent or you die. But man uh, there is no two way. But I'm going to die you and go to get. hell because I got faith. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So, wait a minute. So, men make that law? Men make that law? You, you, you just said men make that law. Men make that law? Old Testament, I, I can wear my That's pants. That's the New Testament. Some, even the Corinthian church, that's the, the New Testament. Mennonites, they had to wear a bun. Sis, the that's head. the New Testament. I don't have to wear it. I wear that's weed, makeup, and everything. But the Read Mennonites again, and the uh -huh. Amish, they still First, under that. First, follow me. You rebellious as hell. If you don't repent, you're going to die here. Read. First John you know, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandment. This right. is the love of God. We keep his commandment. What we do right now, we're showing you mad love. That's, that's right. right. Because you know what we try to do? We try to save you from the fire that's coming. That's right. Because guess what, sister? Destruction is coming to our marriage. That's that's right. Right. We try to save you life from it, but you don't want it. That's guess what? Right. You're going to die here in America. That's it. We're here to save savior. you from the destruction I of the I have received Christ. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Not only that I speak in other Luke tongues. Luke 3. I not only have Luke. had victory in my life. Listen, listen to what Christ said. Listen to what Christ said. Listen to what Christ said about you. That I'm going to help you. God has saved me. Chris, this, this is what Christ said about you. The angels of God has saved me from a horrible accident. Are you serious? Verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except you repent, he shall all likewise perish. Hey, we got a gift for her. What Christ said about her? Ye shall all likewise perish. Christ said, unless you repent, you're going to die. That's, That's right. right. That's what Christ That's just right. said. Repent from what? Do you believe in the Bible? What do I need to repent from? Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Yes or no? You want to know what you should repent of? What should I repent of? You what is going to put me in hell? The let's go, hey, let's go. Hey, I'm going to show you sins. The makeup. You want me to show what you repent of? Me you want hell. me to show it to you? Are you going to listen? I already know that scripture. You want me to show it to you? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Four, four listen, listen to the Bible, sister. They have hands. Sister, listen to the Bible. They That's what roll. you ask. What should you repent of? This is what you repent of. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You know? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Right now, right now you are an abomination to Musa God. That's, that's, right. that's what it should be because you got a pencil. Okay, I'm going to go that's with you. So, 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 that's what like it should skirt be. Skirt I, 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 no, I got one question. That's what it should be. That's what it should be. You rebellious right. as hell. We pimp, sister. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What's your question about that? I'm not. 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 i am not 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 don't tell people so that. You're telling me. That's not the love of God. Where is getting people to You're trying to convince yourself. No, you're dealing with right. You don't want to hear this. No. Christ is free. You understand Christ what you're supposed to be free. doing. Now you know. So it is what it is. You've been Marxist. Um, I'm under ahead, the leadership of Ruffalo Dollar. Oh. oh. That's why you don't understand. Oh. That's why you don't understand. That's why. You put some money in the agenda. You put some money in the agenda. I know you. I heard it. I love TD Jakes. Yeah, you put some money in the agenda. You put some money in on that jet? <laughs> you know, you, 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 you help for that jet? But that's another long time. I ain't got to, but I do it. And that's the Old Testament. You're talking about the Old Testament. That's we right. Don't have to. Hey, hey, brother, wait, hey, sis, that, that's, 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 that's 65 million dollars, you buy a couple dollar jet. Did you ever been in that jet? What jet? Oh, oh, you know what? I've been You there. buy a couple dollar, 65 million dollar jet. Have you been in that jet yet? Yes, sir. Did you ever been in that jet? No, no. Yes or no? First of all, do you ever been in 
I guess I'm a rep for them. I guess I'll rep for my pastor. He did not ask us for that. That was not true. None of that. Here's another thing I want you to understand. That if they discover life on Mars, if you think a $65 million plane was too much, if they discover that there's life on Mars, they're going to need to hear the gospel, and I'm going to have to believe God for a billion-dollar space shuttle because we got to preach the gospel on Mars. I dare you to tell me. I so what I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. Got, he so you give him a $65 million jet. Oh, do you know Why are you leaving in the ghetto? We got a movie coming yes, out. Yes, you know what our ministry You live in the ghetto, but you give them, you give them in a $65 million jet. I'm just I'm You take in the bus. But you give the man a $65 million jet. But you taking the bus. <laughs> look, look at that. You stand on top of garbage. Look at all the garbage around here. But you give the man a $65 million jet. Then you don't see nothing wrong with that picture. That's not true. That's you see all the garbage around you? You should give money so they can get this trash around here. But we wish he could get it. You are some sick people. You need to repent. That's right. You're going to call me sick. That's love. Yeah, you're sick. You, that's love. I'm not sick. I'm not molesting. I'm not raping. I'm not stealing. I have a business. I have a business uh, office. Jeremiah and I make my living. I am not sick. Jeremiah 422. You are you ready? You're going to call me sick and you love God? Jeremiah, just a one. I said one. Are you serious? Look at your. Isaiah, chapter one, verse you're four. Angry. Listen to what God says, Sarah. No, you're angry. A sinful nation. Ah. You don't tell a people. Sick. Laid it with they iniquity. Do a seed of evil doers. Stop doing that. That's evil. That is evil in your heart. A seed of evil doers. Children that are corrupted. Uh, so our people are children that are corrupted. Let's see. Come on. Verse five. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. What does the Bible say? The whole head is sick. Joshua 6. What does it say? The whole head is sick. What does the Bible say? The whole head is sick. So yes, we can call you sick because God says your whole head is sick. That's right. You see that sister? Thus saith the Lord. Come on. I'm Elton Nathaniel with Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.